What's going on guys? Previant here with another how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Exile bot and properly code it uh, to the way you really want it to run. So let's uh, jump into this real quick. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to exile-bot.net. Again the link is right here at the top. You can see it right here. Um, just go to your web browser, open up that link. What you'll need to do is go to download at the very, very top. Uh, let's just go to the home page so you guys can see. Go ahead and go to download. It'll take you down to the bottom of the page where you can just click on download. Now here you do have to subscribe um, as of this year. Uh -huh. It is a paying bot now, uh, but it's, it's well worth it in every way. Uh, actually, if you get the lifetime subscription, which is what I personally got, uh, 30 bucks, and the chance of detection is really low unless you really abuse the bot you're not going to get caught using it anyways go ahead and um, just go ahead and go look down at the downloads here you always want to get the latest version normally previous versions will not work uh, they call as glitches so just click on the previous or the newest version and download the attached files when you start this download it'll it be pretty quick it should only take a minute or two you'll get this at the, if you, depending on what browser you use go to your downloads find the exiled bot and I want you to drag it to your desktop and when you drag it to your desktop I want you to make a new folder on your desktop and put it in that new folder so you kinda should get something that somewhat looks like this as your uh, folder uh, once you put it in there um, I already have it extracted so if you did, that's why you see this additional folder in there so all you do is once you get in your new folder right click it and extract here. When you extract it here, you're going to get this. Uh, yours will say Exiled Bot. Now, I want you to keep in mind that it will change names to be random letters as soon as you open it. So, once you get it here, go ahead and right click it and run it as administrator. Do not forget to run it as administrator. Alright, now you'll normally get like a Windows error um, asking you what you want to do. You want to go ahead and allow it to launch and you'll get something that looks like this to open up. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm talking and what I'm showing you guys stuff on here. Okay, so right now yours will probably say elite or uh, free user. Don't worry about that. That's going to change after you log in and initially start the bot first. But let's go ahead and program it first. You want to get that out of the way. So let's look at the main tab. First you want to choose your path of exile version. Most people are running on Steam from what I know nowadays. So choose Steam if that is. If you're not using the version of Steam, choose the one you're using. Choose with all the options here that you want. This is all user preference. Uh, chicken. To explain what chicken is, chicken does not mean it or your guy will run away. Chicken means you're going to quick force a log out before you even fight that mob. So you can choose to enable it or not. Going over to map, you want to choose what map you want to farm. Um, normally a lot of people do like Act 4 and do uh, one of the bosses there. You could, you know, you kind of set up for whatever you user preference. Um, Dried Lake is a great part in Act 4. Uh, again, all this is user preference. Picket. Now this is where a lot of people have some questions with is the picket because the picket mod is great. It'll pick up all the items for you. It will sell all the items for you. It's going to do everything you really want it to do. But sometimes you have to add in an additional line of code. So I'll get into that in a second. Um, all this stuff, user preference, there's not much to it. There's not really much to explain on that. Um, now this is what I really want to show you guys is what I just opened up. Uh, give me two seconds here. Okay, so this is what you're going to see if you click on... Um, let me close this real quick. Okay, what I want you to do is, on this drop down, I want you to choose JPIC for cell. When you choose that, go over to manage, and a little window is going to pop up. Click on open. When you click on open, you should see something that looks uh, very similar to this. Now, this is where it can get a little confusing. So, they have examples here. The examples are what you really need to look at. This right here should be your prime thing. It's personally what I use. Um, so you can kind of put it anywhere. Just so I know where it's at. There's a... Uh, used to be. There it is. User custom rules. Just where I got it from. Add a couple lines there. And so 
let's say I have gloves that I want to keep, okay? We're looking at gloves in particular. You can make it any armor. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, keep, every, keep everything that is in brackets in brackets and do not change. The only values you are allowed to change is that or that are in quotes. So I can change this, let's say I want to keep every ring that fell. I'm going to put ring and I'm going to change it to, you can keep it at rare. Uh, let's say I'm actually going to change it to, I only want it to keep the unique rings. I don't care about the rares. Oops, if I could spell. <laughs> uh, so now it's going to keep unique rares, but right now it's set to true. This value, obviously, it says sell item. It's telling you what it's going to do. Sell item true. So if it gets a ring that is a unique, it's going to sell. So we don't want it to sell. So we'll change that value to false. So now let's say I want to keep every unique in the game. And I don't want to drop any. I'm going to add in a couple more lines in here that are just a bunch of rings. And I'm going to change one to uh, gloves. Uh, helm. Amulet. Weapon. Uh, any, again, you gotta do this for everything that you really wanted to keep. This is a way to get real in depth with the coding of the bot, uh, or at least the JPEG mod. Uh, I find it very helpful. As I said, it'll save you a lot of storage room and a lot more free farming without having to get up and uh, your inventory being full or your stash being full. Uh, it'll sell everything, get it out of the way for you. Don't worry, it's gonna automatically keep all your orbs and things like that. It doesn't all, it won't sell anything like that. It immediately knows to stash that but some things it doesn't so I added a little little tweaks in here make sure before you exit after you do the coding part to save again just real quick one more time just make sure that you don't touch anything in brackets and it will tell you what it's gonna do so ring that is unique it's going to sell if it's true and it won't sell if it's false just a quick little overview on that so let's go and save that and close now what I'm going to really guys show you guys is how the bot really kind of operates. It's uh, let's just uh, make sure I got everything's value set up the way I want it, and I do. So let me pull up the bot here too, so you guys can see it. All right, so let's move this off to the side. I'm going to shrink it a little bit so that I can be using it while doing this. And I'm going to save my settings on the bot and start the bot. Now when you start the bot, it's going to ask you for a login. And it's going to ask you to where to get your key. Or it's going, to, it's going to ask you for your key. And a lot of people have the question, well, where do I find my key? Because it, it, honestly, it took me a little bit to, of trying to dig around to find it. So let me pull that up real quick to show you guys. All you got to do is go to your, after you've donated, go up to your login go to client area when you go to your client area all you have to do is click on your purchases and your key will come up of course I'm not going to do that because then you guys would all see my CD key but uh, it would be under your purchases right there so now to go ahead and start this bot and show you guys what it's going to do I'm not going to let it run for long um, I'm not going to take up video room for it, but you guys can see kind of the gist of how well it performs. Uh, great coded bot. Well worth the money, especially if you get the lifetime, it's, re it's real worth the money. If you've been playing for a while or you plan to continue to play for a while. I heard they got a real big patch coming up too. I don't believe the ring in Act 5. I don't know if that was a rumor or if that's actually true. If anybody could comment on that and let me know, that would actually be great. Uh, the hotkey for it is F12. If you hit F12, the bot will stop doing it and let you take control. I'm not going to let it do it, I'm just going to go ahead and hit F12 and let it go. Now again, there's an orb of chance right there. It'll automatically pick it up and loot bodies. Uh, I have it actually set to loot strong chests. It'll loot um, an open chest. It, so, really, you can set it up any way you want. Even to do your map upgrades, any, anything. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, or just please leave them below um, and let me know. This video is on YouTube as well as my Twitch. So, uh, thank you guys.